first glance, Dwarven Lamps might seem like a blend of familiar ideas, a mix of Diablo, Vampire Survivors and traditional MMO elements, but with a small development team behind it, this action RPG by Creator Studio has managed to craft something interesting. Let me break it down for you and help you decide if this early access game is worth your time. Officially launched in September, Dwarven Lamps is still under development. It's an action RPG that combines the fast paced hack and slash mechanics of Diablo with the arena based enemy swarming chaos of vampire survivors. The twist? It has a leaderboard driven MMO structure that resets each season, challenging players to climb the rank while starting fresh every time. The goal is simple, defeat hordes of enemies, progress through different realms and aim to be one of the top 250 players globally. As you advance, you upgrade your character in a variety of ways, from collecting new loot to unlocking new abilities. You can play offline or in private mode, but some content gets locked if you choose not to connect. While there's currently not too much of a story, the focus is clearly on the competitive aspect of the game. Each season perhaps gonna add new elements, and for those who love upgrading character and chasing leaderboards, Dwarven Realms offer plenty of room to grow. You begin by creating your hero and entering the main base which center around a portal that sends you to different realms. These realms are essentially arenas where enemies will continuously spawn, much like in Vampire Survivors. By holding down the mouse button, your character launches basic attacks and as you progress and increase weapon proficiency, you unlock additional attack skills. However, you can only equip two active skills at a time. As you battle standard enemies, allied enemies will occasionally spawn. The tougher foes are easy to spot with health bars above their heads and their attacks, areas marked in red. Luckily, you can usually dodge their moves in time by dashing, which consumes a small amount of energy. Progression in Dwarven Realms results around collecting Essence, a resource dropped by allies and sometimes regular enemies. Essence is used to unlock new paths, summon loot from abilities and fight stage bosses. However, there's a quirky, somewhat annoying mechanic. You have to aim directly with the center of the screen at Obelisk to collect the rewards. It takes some getting used to, but even after you adjust, it still feels a bit off. Each stage gives you a 10 minute time limit, offering two main strategies. You can either grind loot and XP for 8 to 9 minutes before fighting the boss, or rush to gather 100 essence and go straight to the boss battle. Then repeat this as you progress through stages facing tougher enemies along the way. After each stage, return to your base, where new features unlock as you advance through the game. Starting at level 2, you gain access to things like dismantling loot to upgrade your gear, earning bonus experience from books, resetting stats and joining fellowship, the game's version of guilds. This hub is where you will spend a lot of time upgrading your character and gear. You can break down items to upgrade others, experiment with different builds, and swap equipment. If you love upgrading your character, Dwarven Lamps offers nearly endless possibilities for tweaking and optimizing your build. In the later part of the game, you will also get cards that can further upgrade your character. There is no shortage of items to collect in Dwarven Lamps. Helmets, armor, pants, rings, necklaces, trinkets, and more all come in various varieties and levels, with each piece impacting your character stats. You will need to mix and match equipment to find the right balance for your build. The game also offers special items like horns and grills, which provide passive boosts that helps you take down enemies faster. As you progress, you can upgrade these items too. And while you will have access to variety of weapons, there's a catch. You can't change them mid-battle. Finding the weapons that fits your style takes a few playtest sessions, but once you do, you will feel right at home in the heat of combat. I was happy with one hand weapon, so I stick to it. While the main zone bosses are tough and have more complex mechanics, the stage bosses, not all of them, are disappointingly simple. Most of these fights involve avoiding attacks and landing hits until the boss fails. If you've built a glass cannon character, one strong hit might take you down, but with a bit of running and dodging, most bosses pose little challenge. This is one of the game's weaker points. For a game that thrives on its boss rush mechanics, the lack of death in stage bosses feels like a missed opportunity. Despite its single player structure, Dwarven Lamps feels a lot like an MMO. The game emphasizes leaderboard competition, especially with its season resets. You can join fellowships, but there is no direct interaction with other players. You won't see them in game, nor will they see you. However, the leaderboard is meant to push you towards the top season after season. Cosmetic items are available for purchase, though no one but you will see them unless you are streaming or making videos. While there is no pay to win aspect, thankfully, 
The overall game gives off the vibe of an old MMO that's been reworked into a single player experience. It's a strange mix, but it's interesting for those who want a blend of MMO competition without the multiplayer interactions. The game also notifies you in like chat form that somebody reached certain level or closed some stage. The same goes if you are going to lose, everybody gonna see that. Science Dwarven Realms is in early access, there are a few bugs to be expected. For example, enemies sometimes get stuck in the terrain, and sound effects occasionally fails to trigger. The most annoying issue for me was the aiming mechanic for collecting obelisks, but overall the game runs smoothly and most of the bugs are minor. In terms of optimization, the game performs well even when hundreds of enemies are swarming the screen. I did notice a few frame drops on my RTX 3070, but it wasn't anything game breaking. Visually, Dwarven Realms looks like a game from 2009. It's not ugly, but it's not stunning either. The art style has an old school MMO feel, which fits the game mechanics but doesn't offer too much. The environment are colorful and functional, but you're not going to be wowed by the visuals. The music on the other hand is almost not existent. Even with the settings cranked up, the background music is so quiet that you will hardly notice it. The sound effects are more pronounced, but they are nothing remarkable and they do glitch out on occasion. At first glance, Barber Realms might look like a vampire survivor's clone in 3D, but it's more than that. By combining hack and slash mechanics with MMO style competition, it manages to crave out its own niche. I enjoyed the agreed system, and there are enough skills and items to keep you playing for hours. The main zone boss offer a decent challenge, but the lackluster stage bosses drag the experience down a bit. Ultimately though, I'm a single player gamer who loves a good story, and Advaron Realms isn't about that, it's about chasing high scores and upgrading characters. So if you are into competitive, leaderboard driven games, you will find a lot to enjoy here. The seasonal reset is a fair way to keep the playing field level, and lack of pay to win mechanics is a plus. If you are curious about Dwarven Realms, you can check out the game via the link in the description, and if you want to discover more indie games you might not know about, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video and see you next time!